Well, here we go again. I must admit that I had no intention of making a fourth video, but as they say, fan power won the day. So here I am. I'm delighted to be speaking to you for a garden I used to play in when I was just alone. At that time, Posty and Mrs. Pratt were here, and I'd like especially to say hello to their lassie Vi, an old playmate of mine, new and far off New Zealand. Nowadays, Rosie and Davy Larg are the prude owners of Willow Bank. Davy and myself were classmates at the school just down the road here, and it's grand to meet up with him again. But back to the video. I in the go means just that. Am I here, and I'm never stop it. So let's get started and heed for Inverallachie, Cairnbulg and St Combs and the tune The North East Nuk. <laughs> I mentioned in one of my earlier videos that a popular pastime of us teenage loons was the Sunday bike run. Since that time, I've been reunited with one of the lads that kept me company all these years ago. He's Alex Stewart, an ex wood heater but now biding in Lawrence Kirk. I'm delighted that Alec has been able to join up with me again, and even more chuffed because he's given me a shot to his bike to see me on my way on another Sunday bike run. Another Sunday morning, and the sun's hich in the sky. No need for waterproofs or leggings, it's going to be fine and dry. The bike is going a good check over, and then we talk to the road. A glaked bunch of country loons, if ever there was be God. A shortcut through the castle policies, hoping the game of Disney sees. The lake in all its glory, shaded in with bony trees. Then bending out the other side to the lodge at Five East Station. Hoping against hope that the gates nay lock it, for that on a Sunday would be damnation. Through the vale and up the road we come to Rothy Toon, a place where I mind biggin houses when I was just a loon. 
The hall for I played the dances in the wheel Kent Rothy Inn, for we landed after the Fitba to celebrate a win. Sign o'er the hill still peddling, all rain we next did reach. Twist eight twiny bits of roads, made where breaks ge out a screech. So we took our time gone through the place, but it slipped quickly by, as we crossed the Alstein Brig and good speeding on our way. Afore we kent it, we were an inch we its little crossing and left so flush and reed, to stop the traffic in its tracks and gee the train the go ahead. Kenethment knew was out of bounds at the other side of the gate, but it gives a chance to deck the brew and get rid of some of the sweat. A cruisy room by the golf club and by Don Chavin's doors, St. Drostens in the Alkirk yard with its hech imposing tower. And up there on the skyline as it's been for money a year, I'll be at sail the tower house on the hill o' Dunny Deer. Far next will we be heeding as time as we're in by, but we'll hear a look at Premne, the weather still fine and dry. The northern slopes have been a he and then the place at sail, but far and yuch where legs are saying, time to turn tail. Come nearer hand the way home, we've reached the drummer wartle, for local folk and passers by stop to wheat their thrapple. But a drama was nae for us, for we mecht for off our bike, and that is nae fits winted on this were Sunday hike. By fall a rolling up the hill, it fairly marks ye pech. Come off ye feel and walk a bit, for breath am hand to fecht. Sign o'er the top just stand a file, ye can nearly see the sea, and the patchwork quilt o' buchan lies recht afore your e. Doon by the five ye golf course a wa there on your recht. The clovery woodland cemetery waiting for you when day turns into nicht. Sign doon the petty bray with legs up in the air, free wheeling into Monday, but what the hell do we care? So ins again we've made it another Sunday run. We've had a lach together and mechty it was fun. There's nothing else to beat it and it fairly does you guid. And we're back again, far we started, on the outskirts o wood heed. Last year, Rose Archibald celebrated her 90th birthday, and as a surprise for her, I composed a tune, especially for the occasion, appropriately named The Rose of Doris. As I play the tune, we'll visit Rose's Corner or Deeside, and maybe even pop in by and see the wifey herself.
Most senior citizens' clubs and the like organise a summer outing for their members. I thought it would be a good idea to join in on one sick outing and enjoy the trip, the company, the scenery and eventually a cup of tea. We'd better get a move on though, for the buses are waiting to set off. We are an hour and seated in Martin for Aberdeen, sitting there so stately and waving to folk like the Queen. Then southwards at great speed, we reach the How of the Mairns, and if ever there was a bonny place, it must be Fetter Cairn. Through the arch a regal that marks the place stand out, and afore you can far you are, you reach the Runaboot. The fountain is beginning to show its age, but the hall has left its wheel, and far around the cross, standing proudly by its sail. The fetry shop is there as wheel, and the kirk is recht at hand. The Ramsey arms deal in spirits, bit for the inner man. And so, of course, is the distillery, producing drams of fine. You're bound to seat when you come to Fetter Cairn, you canna miss the sign. Then on to Nara roads again, it was na lang afore we reached Drum Tochty. I thought the driver was gone gay fast, well, maybe just a thochty. But seen I forgot the speed we were at, and took in the bonny secht, trees and shades of our description, dancing and shimmering in the licht. The castle hiding in the woods, its entrance wheel planned out, a house of God, inspiring, oh that does little doot, and far on we pass the park, or the drum tochty healing games, that attract folk fae far and wide, I folk with famous names. Loch Sach slips by, close to the road, just by the pale side. Its placid waters, nagin on why, for birds and beasties bide. The trees dip their leaves in the water, bathe all branch and flurry twig, and the next weekend it's doon the bray to reach the clattering brig. We stop to hear gander and tuck in the peace and quiet. The freshness of the air, the silence, are the money on earth couldn't abide. But the Cairn Mount lies waiting, and so we tack to the slope. To reach the top, we fingers crossed, can be where only hope. We've made it up the steepest bit, we name a cold bother at all. And looking back, the view down there can take your breath away. The mairns lay out a forest, reaching southwards to the sea. I've spotted Lawrence Kirk nae far away, and could that in be Dundee? Mere braised the clem and sharp nukes to get room, the hells are a dark peaty broom. And look into the north under the brass echt to please a country loom. But seen the road levels out in a fair martois, with beasts in their parks we can see, and afore very long it's plain sailing again, we can relax with a view of the dee. A boy new talks were fancy with its centrepiece the green, for the famous games have been held since money a year long seen. A popular place with tourists, especially when the weather's fair, and there's mere memories of the distant past when you visit the station square. But half we say two things again, the miles are getting less, by the white cottage tea room afore we lawn and des. And they are sitting in a garden, are twa lads that we should ken. We recognise them recht awa, Bell and Ben, the Fleurport men. The brig offered we heed by had an out without a stop, and after another mile or twa, there goes the Mosset shop. Lums then seen the Zinwa sechts, which hooses or local steen. A docile place without a doot, a far cry for Aberdeen. Heading east at speed again, the tires bizzing on the tar. Somebody says, Rainy's next, I dinna think it's far. The bus crawled to a stop and pulled up beside the square. To hear view or a recht snod place, you couldna ask for mere. Fe rainy we heed for the cabrich, we its acres of barren grun. To scratch a living in the past, must a teen its toll on man. The ruins scattered here and there, have the rain sear story to tell. A battle lost against nature, nothing to grow, nothing to sell. But noon again a shade of green and twa three scattered sheep, and you to get by or so it seems, and you to mark their keep. But dwindling numbers self sear to tack, they're fairly tina dive, the lower cabrich squealy, wi its roll at four or five. But here we are at long last, it's time to hear feed. The grouse in there a forest, and their fear is half a guid. It fairly marks where day, the hear it are dashed up. And fit is even better 
there's no washing or plate or spin or cup. We're ready now to be on the road and head for home again. The routine's a winner and the scene's been the same. The driver's been a topper and he's been wheel and truly tipper. And fine weekend when the morning comes, we'll all be sear and hip it. There couldn't be a bonnier setting than Mulbuies for our next offering. It's another tune composed for a birthday, this time in honour of a very good friend of ours, and it could only be called one thing, the Jean Goodbrand Polka. Now we have something a wee bit different. I want to say over much. I'll leave our friend to tell you in his own words, because it's our boot, I'm just a buttery. I'm just a common buttery, as you can plainly see. Some folk come me a rowy, but it's all the same to me. The recipes are a secret as the bakers vie for trade. But there's a, a thing you can be sure of, I'm a fresh and ready made. I can be soft or even crispy, fight-faced or burnt brown, but whatever size or shape I am, I'm quickly guzzled down. I've fed folk in this corner for money, money years, and when they've to do without me, it drives them all to tears. My cousins are all jealous as I lead the breakfast chart. A slice of toast's fair out out, and that's just for a start. A flurry bap looks bonny when it's lying in the shop, and wholemeal gem for Huntley, isn't it got a hope? There's all this new fungal things that folks supposed to eat. I wouldn't give them house room and I wouldn't share a plate. Crispy bars and puffs are win that henna only taste. Ye when our fool folk can buy them, mechty for the waste. Now look at me, an icon, with jam and butter tea, or maybe even marmalade, if that's what you'd like to do. 
or for the boots some honey, now that's a recht good treat, or hey me naked, with nothing on, for a plain but race hard to beat. Some folk like me as I am, and others like my head. It doesn't make any difference to me, I just talk fit I get. But a toaster, I can tell you, is nae my favourite creation. Fin files I'm left in far over long, and lan up at my ain cremation. And now, of course, I've spread the word, I'm famous worldwide. In tunes and open spaces are over the countryside. My heed's held high, I've deemed at last, I feel so half a prude. For now, I'm on the menu at Holly Rood. But back in my own corner, I can it well be so. In the middle of the night I start my life, a muckle lump o' dough. I'm kneaded and I'm pummeled, sign dump it in a pan, and cut into little bitties about the size o' your hand. And neither thumpings fit I get, and so do I'm a gang. You'd think the way that we are treated that we've done something wrong. But worse is to come, it's end the steamer, and it fairly makes you sweat. I think if I'd been a cat or a dog, they'd be sinning for the vet. The steamer's by, the trolley's next, we're all laid out in rows. The oven door, it opens, just like a crocodile's jaws. Sign in we go, the temperature's hech, at least it's fine and steady. And afore you can, the baker say, I think we're friends are ready. So out I come, a bony and ready for the fray, settling down aside my pals to face another day. Sitting here in the window, I can have hit it on the nail. When they say our butteries are the best, and every inn's for sale. So if next you sit at the table, we a buttery on your plate, take a closer look at the chill em sail, afore you start to eat. You'll maybe get a wink, and see a twinkle in his ee, and if you div, just you wink back, for your buttery could be me. Well, far would I believe that buttery could speak. But leaving where buttery a hen, we're heading for Offord, a thriving place for some things eye happening. The tune, Hochton Park, specially written for the occasion, sees us on where why.
When I was looking for something different, including the video, I came across a couple of things that surprised even me. So out come the camera and off we set. I hope you too will be surprised and impressed at the birds and beasties to be found on our own doorstep. A flock of sheep, a steading, an idea for over the sea. Unusual in this corner and something new to me. The yows are a milk it and stand to wait their turn. This is modern day fairman, a far cry for the owl plump churn. Sign next to milk is processed in a parlour of shining steel. The Portman family fe Holland, he teen to Shivado wheel. They work our hours to hay success and try so hard to please. And here at the Einot, something you should try, their tasty organic cheese. And next, would you believe it, we've got to show to you. Alpacas, at least a dozen, are the wife of Chile and Peru. Brown and black with shaggy coats, famous for their wool. Alpacas at New Deer, you say? No, that is really cool. Full long is since you've seen a ferret. Well, we've tried to show to you. Bonny sleeked beasties, but keep your fingers awa for their moo. And for about this other lot, no aren't they just bra? Cuddly craters with winsome looks, and I think I'll hear the twa. No, have you ever wonder if it happens to donkeys of pension age? Fluffsfield Sanctuary at Mulbrex is far they knew spend their days. For ah over the country, they looked after in their droves. Docile beasties, and thankful for the warmth and the love. When I first get in a boot, I thought there'd be just two or three, but mechte I was dumfoonert. Nearly a hundred of the craters confronted me. Contented in retirement, where reef have been their heads. Weel done, Mulbrex, is fit I say. Aye, weel done indeed. To Mary Cooter next weekend, and I wonder if it next can be. Ostriches born and bred at Drum Park. Thank God they canna flee. A glaket look and stare an in, they could fairly gie a flag. And have you ever wondered full long it would tack to bail a nostrage egg? Just take a look at the beauties here, heads up and lugs a keen. A friendly face a toss the heed, that's oor, princey and jean. Fit better a sec could you see than that, I doubt if ever you can. For there's something special about a horse and the why they can understand man. To Bartle Chapel off we sit, to see some friends of mine. There's Rupert and there's Robbie, twa toppers o' their kind. Val the sheep wi' her twa pals, nae humans did the fear, and a friendly nag, a clever beast, by the name o' Cavalier. But the high left over visit could wheel and truly be, twa parrots gain their freedom, just for us to see. There's Eagle and there's Ivan, they laid us a merry dance, an eagle enjoys a cat cut, for never he gets the chance. Now we talk to the water, for our thing is serene. The plumage on the duke stand out, light brown and shiny green. A nod in here, a bob in there as they paddle to and fro. Leggies in and the water, my God, they fairly have to go. No food do you like to cuddle, shadow. Newfoundland's far his fay. But here at him in Aberdeen, he's walk it every day. He's a friendly dog, a character, and he's a foo of fun. And as you can see, he's nae a sharger, for he nearly wise at done. And so, to finish this story, we'll heed for Cullen Toon, to a place o' oh, peace and solitude when their final call comes roon. For birds and beasties, like humans, have only sail long on this earth. But it's grand to ken that there's folk like Stephen to look after them in death. We tribute spied so fondly on slate and marble steen, memories of days spent together or times that knew he been. A resting place beside the sea, tended with pride and care, knew that their worldly days are our and that their travels are nae mere. Next, we're a to John Haven, Gordon, and Catalan. The three of them are coothy places by the sea, although nae as active as they used to be. Farewell to Catalan is a tune that taxes us down the coast.
One of the most rewarding experiences I have is entertaining residents in nursing homes or care centres as they now like to be called. I wrote a short poem especially for them and here we share it with some of my pals at East Lee and Peter Cooter. Be thankful for the present. Appreciate what you've got. Forget the days of long ago. Be happy with your lot. And as you look around you and see how others fare, be thankful for your comforts. Be thankful for your care. Allow yourselves a little dream of happy younger days, of hopes and plans you cherished as you wandered through life's maze. But never dwell at length upon those days now long since gone. Today is more important for you and everyone. Your friends, your home, your interests all mean so much it's true. Living for the present will safely see you through. And what about the future, people have been heard to say. But why worry about tomorrow? Tomorrow's another day. So let us see those shoulders back and a smile upon your face. A feeling of well-being as you tackle life's fast pace. Remember these few friendly words as you go on your way. Be thankful for the present. Be thankful for today. Fecouter, we've travelled over the hills in Farawa to Glenlivet. Some folk I can would say this is as near paradise as you can get. To mark our visit, I've composed a tune which I've named the Livet Brig. I hope you enjoy the music and the glory of the Glen. Our next port of call is the historic Royal Borough of Banff. I mine as a loon coming here and tucking in all the sects that Banff had to offer at that time. Nothing much has changed and I still enjoy that special feeling that Banff can provide for locals or outsiders. I think you'll maybe agree after we've had a dander round the two. Bend the road we heed for Banff, 
a place so historic lay, and there's the bridge across the Deveron, its seven arches to the fore. A piece of fine architecture will afford its time, and a picture of this part of the world that sticks in Abadie's mind. How are the brig we toddle in a panoramic sight we view, the golf course to our left with greens of different hue, the clubhouse in the best, be it near or be it far, for lads have been kent to celebrate an eagle, a birdie or even a par. Across the road you can't miss the scene of money a tale, it's the Princess Royal Park, the home of Deveron Vale. It's a spruced up and looking wheel, a credit to the tune. And to play on that hallowed turf is the aspiration of money a local loon. The duff whose public gardens are laid out for art to see, the flowers and shrubs a haven, the money a bummel bee. And then we talk a turn down to the great duff house itself, an imposing stately begin, you just have to look at it to tell. The sheriff court up huds the law, and of course we see money as buyer. Fits this new, a sign of the past, stabling and horses to hire. The plain stains with the market cross and the tune house we see, dating back to 1794, Heinbach in history. We'll hae a look at the harbour, a bustling place a long, long seen. But nowadays, these days are our, something that has been. A little booty here and there, tied to the harbour wa, The days o' bustling fishing boats new seem far, far awa. New ben the water side, Scotston tax were e. A line of tidy houses face out the wye o' the sea. Cream and orange, yellow and pink, and even grey and blue. Painted wheel like Legoland in money a pastel hue. The low shore tax is back nearer the centre of the toon, the ship in has seen the comings and goings of money a bumper loon. And I suppose you could say the same for the police station standing there, keeping Abdi on the strecht and nara, if to deviate they dare. St Mary's Kirkyard is worth another look. Again, hind back in history, it stands in its ain sma nuk. And afore we leave this corner, we have to make a stop at the East Side Discount Centre, can better is the spotty bag shop. New heading westwards, the links are there with sea and grass and sand. For many a family have spent long days in tent or caravan. This is fit bamf means to folk, I folk for far and near. A bonny place with sparkling air and waters clean and clear. And so we talk we'll leave a bamf and heed back on our way. We've showed you some of its history and some of its present day. A place they proved its heritage its beauty, and much more. And I think we should feel privileged that in this we've been able to share. The Tortarlam March will see us through Turfens, Lomfanen and Tarland. Can only a spot far I got the name of the tune, fae? Never mind. Enjoy it anyway, as we show you yet another bit of bonny countryside. <laughs>
Time and again I get letters and even emails from folk living abroad, telling me how much my videos mean to them. This next story is really a compilation of the comments made by them over the years, and I hope that those of you far away from him will enjoy it, even though it may bring a lump to your throat or a tear to your ear. Oh, I've never stopped thinking about you since the day that we had to part. Your shores, your valleys and mountains will forever be part of my heart. The dee with its dark peaty waters, the spade of the sea running fast. The castles, so rugged and noble, bring me back to the days of my past. Our house, far we are played as bairns, new a ruin covered in a quilt of green ivy. Tefte Zane's grave still clear in my mind, as she lies in the kirkyard of Fivey. A thistle in full purple splendour, proudly hides its head up against the wind. And a couthy all worthy fitter, saying, Ay, ay, fu ye deen, men. My favourite tree, I still see it, hoot lined against a shining blue sky. A paper in fall tart and glory, takes me back to days long since by. The sands on the beach at Balmedy, as bonny as ever she'd been seen, ruddy dendrons a mass of bright colour, remind me o' hazel heed in Aberdeen. And little things that are never forgotten, like stovies heap it hech on your plate, and real homemade tatty soup, no that's fit I ca recht meat. The wishing well, far we closed were in, and mapped out were future plans, little kenning that the wire heed would tuck us out of the sea to distant foreign lands. Jim Cameron and Well Star on the wireless, we listened to them time and again. Robert Wilson made us proud to be Scottish as he sang my favourite, Down in the Glen. The fields and the fine folk of Buchan, the fight horse and Mormond Hill, been a he in awe o' its glory, the picter bides we me still. So, as time slipping awa for this exile, and it's time to clem that last hill, I'd love once again to see my northeast corner, but I doot, I I doot if I will. So, as I've said so many times afore, I've never stopped thinking about you since the day that we had to part. Your shores, your valleys and mountains will forever be part of my heart. Now to a place that an awful lot of folk have a problem getting their tongue round, and that is Fingin. Not only are we to see the local scenery, but we'll meet some of the folk lucky and yuch to bide in this idyllic spot. So let's see that an awful lot goes on as we listen to three of my waltzes. <laughs>
fingen in its folk. It was grand to meet them and to see the beauties of the forest abers at the same time. Well, that's almost the end of video number four, and definitely the last of the series. I just hope that you get as much pleasure from watching it as we did in putting it together for you. I would like to thank everybody out there for the support they've given me and Ross Records over the years, and we hope that we've given you something a wee bit out of the usual to watch. I'm going to leave you now with a tune that most of you will recognise, for who are the tunes I've composed that has proved to be a favourite worldwide? It is, of course, the Bonnie Swans or Cricky. Although the videos have come to an end, I still hope to see all my friends in the halls and the schools and at the organisations I've visited for more years than I care to mine. For I've got to make it quite clear that the country loon hopes to be still eye on the go for a long time yet. Mm -hmm.